All right. This is the moment. We are starting the process of learning how to sing and play the guitar or any instrument if you want to accompany yourself. But let's do this. Uh, phase one or stage one of the process is how to become listenable. Um, now, I'll be looking at my laptop because I have these notes and they're on the bottom uh, of the, uh, the course. So you can have a look at them too while I'm talking so you can get a really good understanding of what I'm saying. Uh, sometimes it's nice to see the, the text as well as hear me talk about it. But anyway, uh, let's get right into it. So um, basically follow these stages step by step. Uh, and then within each stage, there are multiple steps too. So it's, it's like, you know, it's going to be, it's, it's pretty much laid out. Like this is as clear as I, I think I can make it and we'll iterate on it in the future um, based on your feedback. So basically to become listenable, you're going to have to go through six steps um, and that's, that's all we want to do. We're just going to go get through these six steps. And I don't want you guys to push yourself super hard. If you're really good at the instrument and you're really good at singing and playing, uh, you will get through these steps way faster than most people. But if you're not, then, um, these might be quite challenging for you because you probably have never done this. Now, step one, vocal rhythm. Oh my gosh. If you watched the last video, you'd be like, what? Luan vocal rhythm. Why is that important? It's super important. Uh, we're going to be doing the vocal rhythm. So vocal rhythm, first thing, that's what you're learning right away. So for instance, I'm going to be, say I was playing shotgun, um, I'll be writing shotgun. So da, 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 easy. Da, 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 da. Like you can be as simple as that. Now, the next thing you're going to do, so that's step one, get the vocal rhythm. Now, based on the last video, if you want to, and you do, you've just been practicing your vocal and you've got the vocal rhythm down, you've also learned the melody and the lyrics, kudos to you. You've just absolutely smashed this step. So you can definitely add melody and lyrics to it. If that's the only practice you can do, definitely just focus on that. Um, and just vocal rhythm, then melody, then lyrics, and you should be very comfortable with your vocal. But if you are doing everything at once right away, vocal rhythm, number one priority. Now the next step, step number two, is you're gonna learn the chord progression. Uh, I don't need you to be playing through the chords. I don't need you to be like, oh, where does all these, like don't need to do that. Simply just pick the chords that you're gonna play. Um, for me, um, this is an example. You know, this is not a tutorial on the song, but if I'm going to play the song, I'm, I like to play the song with a E major nine, and then I play an A major nine, uh, a major seven, sorry. So I go E major seven, A major seven, and then I do a B minor, nine, a minor, B minor 11. <laughs> These are very fancy chords. And then I do a, a B13. So it's so weird. I haven't really explained them as chords, but that would be my next step is like, if I'm going to play the song, I'm going to play it like that. So what are my chords? Bam. Okay, cool. I'm comfortable with these chord shapes. All right. So that's step two. You just got to get comfortable with the chord shapes. So whatever the chord progression you're playing, say you're playing brown eyed girl, whatever. All right. G, C, G, D. All right, cool. That's the chords that I need to know. And maybe like a G and then an E and then a C and then a D. Okay, cool. We're good there. You just want to learn the chord shapes. You're not trying to do chord progressions. You're just trying to learn the chord shapes, um, ideally in the right order. Um, so you can practice the movement of them, but that's all that we're doing at that point. Now, step three is going to be uh, practicing the vocal rhythm with the right hand strum where the chord changes would occur. Ah, so this is a bit complicated. So um, it's a bit complicated, but it's not. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go through the lyrics and then listen to the recording. You, I mean, some like tabs will have this. They'll have like the, the chord letter on where the word is. That's very helpful um, if you don't trust your ear. But if I would highly recommend you practice through looking at the lyrics and listening to the music and where you hear a chord change, um, which is the change in the harmony, uh, typically that's, that's where you wanna learn to strum. So for this song, it'll be, I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone. Whoa. 
So those are the four, ca- four chord changes that happen in the chorus of Shotgun. So I'd be like, I'll be riding shotgun. Da 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 one. Whoa. So if lyrics might help you if you get to the point where you you have memorized the lyrics, are very, very handy. But whatever vocal level you're at, the bare minimum is a vocal rhythm. So you just gotta land the right hand strum, just the downstroke. You're just going down. Just only on the chord change, where the chord change happens with the vocal rhythm. That's the most important thing. So step three is da 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 the course of like a three minute song, but a lot of sections are repeat themselves. So it's pretty handy on most songs. At least a good song will do that. Now um, we're going to, at step four, add the chord strums with the vocal rhythm only where the changes are made. So we're not gonna be adding any like, (coughs) any of that stuff. All you're gonna be doing is now you've married your right hand with the vocal rhythm. Now we're just gonna add some chords. I'll be riding shotgun. Underneath da 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 That is the only step that you're going to be like, that's all this step is. You're just adding the chord changes where you were doing the strummers. You're just adding those chords where the strum was happening. There's nothing extra, no extra strum changes, no extra fancy things, just super, super simple. Don't overthink this. Um, Now, step five, if you didn't already do this before you practice the song, uh, go and add your melody and your lyrics. As simple as that. Add your melody and lyrics, and once you're really, really confident with that, you will go to step six, and then you're just gonna add the chord strums with the full uh, vocal with the melody and the lyrics. So that would sound like this. So step six is once you've got the melody and lyrics super confident, then you add the chord drums and you'll be like, uh, I'll be riding shotgun underneath the... I can't even remember the key I've seen. I'll be, I'll, be riding, I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone, whoa I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like someone Whoa. That's it. That that's as that's as um wild as this is gonna get. Now, if I were to just do this the whole way through, um, no one's gonna throw a bo- beer bottle at me, but no one's going to be like, wow, that changed my life. Um, and that's what listenable is. Listenable is, you know, it's good enough. Um, these are the elements that make a song listenable. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road. Gotta hit the road. Something changing the atmosphere. Architecture unfamiliar. I could get used to this. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. Cause there's a mountain top I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone, whoa I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone, whoa And then you see how it goes Like, that is, you know, I mean uh, Hopefully not majority of you turned off the video at that point But um, you know, people don't mind that. Like, you've listened to probably a lot worse uh, 